Let's be fast. Let's be loose. Let's draw. All right, guys. This time around, I would like to talk about fast, loose, and dirty sketching. And usually, I always do the <clears throat> marker sketching. So basically, I do an underlay drawing with a lighter C marker. But when I just want to explore ideas, I do everything with a pen or a fine liner. And that is because I just really enjoy drawing with a pen and a fine liner, especially because you get really nice dynamic and energetic lines out of it. And your, your drawings really have this, this pop and this dynamism to it. After I explored a little bit with the fine liner, I tend to switch to a marker underlay drawing, which I usually take a C2 or either way a lower um, gray marker. And then I lay out the basic sketch with that. And after that, I come in with a fine liner or a pen again, and then I tighten up the lines. But this time around, I really want to talk about the benefits of not doing that. So the benefits of actually just drawing straight with a fine liner and no security under layer with the markers. What are some of the main benefits and drawbacks of a marker pre-sketch? Usually benefits, as I say, you can feel they're much more secure because you can lay out and you can explore a little bit. It's basically just like drawing with a pencil because obviously you can't erase the marker, but because it's such a light gray, the eye won't see it. So you're super secure and you can also explore a little bit further along. So you don't have to stick with what you put down. You can, you can still add and take away from the drawing when you're, when you're still in the marker phase. Drawbacks on the other hand are that you do end up with a sort of a stiff result. And that happened to me. It happens to me actually quite often. I do my exploration just in um, lines. So just with a pen and those drawings are really dynamic and I really like them. And then when I switch to the marker underlay and then going over it with my, with my pens, it just automatically becomes a little bit stiffer. And obviously that's normal because you're trying to keep those lines much, li uh, much nicer and much tighter. But yeah, that's, that's an easy, easy outcome of that. As for working only with a pen sketch, what are the values and the drawbacks for that one? So benefits are as I said, the really nice, energetic and dynamic lines. You, you really get this nice flow of lines, but you also get the pure idea, which, which contains the essence of the idea that you want to put down. So it's not going to be uh, overworked, overforced, super secure and stiff drawing. No, it's going to be this super dynamic. The, the first thing that was in your mind, pop, that's going to be on the paper as well. And the drawbacks of this technique would be that it's a little bit more dirty. Obviously, you're gonna, especially me for my style, I use a lot more lines because I'm exploring still a little bit here and there. So you're gonna have a lot of extra lines. And that can lead to the image being a little bit also unclear. If you, if you don't know how to control your line properly, yeah, with that many lines, it is going to be a little bit unclear and also like a, a modeled drawing because there's just so much stuff you don't know where to look at. And because in this drawing, I want to concentrate on this technique, so the loose and dirty pen sketching, let's see how we can fix some of these issues or, or, or what we can do to mitigate the drawbacks. So first of all, if you're gonna draw with only pen, that forces you to think a little bit ahead. So you, although I am still exploring with a pen a little bit, in my head, I have to do one or two extra steps to think, okay, how is this drawing going to turn out? Meanwhile, when I draw with a marker, I can just start doing random lines because I know, hey, nobody's going to see this anyway because I'm going to draw over it later on with a pen and the, the, the bad lines are not going to be visible. That's not really super possible when you do that with just a pen. So you are a little bit forced to think ahead, okay, how am I going to put this line down and where is this going to go and how is it going to connect? And that's a good thing to practice and to learn because you're just going to benefit from it further down if you keep on drawing. Uh, another thing is also it teaches you line weight and line quality because especially if you work like me and you explore a lot with your lines, then you're going to have all these lines that I said that can be a little bit dirty and unclear. But if you know how to control your line weight, you know most of the time where to put super light lines or, or thin lines and then where, where to make your lines a little bit thicker, where to put that emphasis on, on the lines. And that is also very important as an industrial design sketcher or just, just a person who likes to draw in general. Lines and line thickness and line weight is, is very important. 
it can be actually easily fixed with uh, rendering at the end. So even if you have sort of a sketchy drawings, if you just take one or two or, or just take the whole element and, and render it out, color it in, make sure that the shading and, and lighting is realistic enough, nobody's going to notice all the extra lines and the sketch setup lines that you needed to, to build the, the 3D volume. That's why I also want to show you here in the video, I started out from like really rough sketches and now with all the values in there, you don't notice many of the construction lines. Also a good thing at the end, if you present a sketch or a drawing like this, the viewer will get the impression like, okay, this person understands and knows how to quickly sketch and how to quickly ideate, but they also control the more end part of it, so the, so the rendering. So you show them a full set of skills, which is also quite beneficiary for you. And also just in the end, you end up with a really nice, playful visual because you have this loose, energetic lines and you have nice and more stiff but controlled. Obviously, this won't work all the time and not all the clients want drawings like this, but just for yourself, don't ever stop from not, not working a little bit more dirty. It teaches you and gives you this control that you need over lines. So it, it, it just really teaches you how to work with lines and I think that is important for, for a, a drawing person, a, a draftsman. But yeah, this is all I wanted to talk about during this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you took something away from it. And please feel free to like it and subscribe and also leave any comments that you have. And follow me on Instagram because I have regular updates there. And see everybody next week. Hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.